What can NPB do to get more fans from overseas? Thank you to MU3AZ Ahmed for the video suggestion. As you all know, NPB is the second highest level of professional baseball in the world behind Major League Baseball. 30 years ago, it was seen by most Major League fans as a place for struggling Major League players to go at the end of their careers, to cash in one last time before they retire. Then came a long line of Japanese players from NPB to go on to have success in MLB. Some have even become household names. The quality of Major League players going to NPB improved, and some have returned to MLB much better than they were before. As the quality of players going back and forth between MLB and NPB has improved, so has interest in NPB. And with the rise of the internet, fans can more easily seek out information on their favorite Major League player who went to NPB. Or the next great young prospect in NPB that may or may not go to MLB someday. Fans are chatting with each other, sharing information and opinions. Many expected NPB to try and capitalize on their rise in reputation, but they haven't shown much interest in doing so. Nevertheless, the popularity of NPB outside of Japan continues to increase, and the league could gain a lot more overseas fans if it wanted to. Here are a few ways. One is to advertise the game experience to tourists. There is no better way to make someone a fan for life than to get them into the ballpark and experience it firsthand. A few decades ago, this idea would have been laughed at. The number of visitors to Japan was quite small. It was one of the world's most expensive countries then. And as I said before, people didn't have a very high opinion of the country's professional baseball league. Fast forward to today and 30 million people visit Japan annually, pre-COVID numbers of course, and it's not uncommon to see some of them spending a few hours at the ballpark during their holiday. But for the most part, these visitors are already baseball fans, or at least big sports fans, and they come to Japan with a strong desire to attend a game and they actively seek out tickets to the game. NPB will be pleasantly surprised how many people they can attract if they try to advertise to the regular tourist, even those who've never seen baseball or just don't like it. I've heard the same story again and again from people who came from countries where baseball is not well known. They watched MLB once, maybe on the internet or satellite TV, and didn't like it. Years later, they travel to East Asia, go to a game, and have a blast. They always credit the atmosphere at the games with turning them into fans, something they can't get from catching a game in North America. Then, they can enjoy the quieter, less energetic environment of a Major League Baseball game, and appreciate it because it's got the best players in the world. This is not only true with Japanese baseball, I've also heard of Americans traveling to Europe and coming back as soccer fans. So while NPB may not be the highest level, it may be able to do the most for bringing new fans to the game. But the people I'm talking about here who become baseball fans through the experience of attending a game are usually not tourists. They're usually people who work in Japan, Korea, or Taiwan temporarily. The reason being that for tourists, especially first-time visitors, they usually don't think of going to a baseball game. It's something they think of later, after being in the country for a month or two. So NPB would have some work to do, trying to reach out to those who are staying for just a little while. And if you think tourists would be unlikely to add a baseball game to their holiday plans, you'd be surprised by all the dumb time-wasting things tourists do here. Okay, so imagine this campaign succeeds and they've attracted hundreds or thousands of tourists to the ballpark. They love the experience, head back to their home countries, and now they'll be watching NPB for the rest of the summer. Well, not really. Another thing NPB could do, and this is the most important one, is create a good streaming service. If you want to watch NPB online, the best option is Pacific League TV, which you have to pay a monthly subscription for. And it's only Pacific League teams. Anyone who visits Japan and attends a game is most likely to go to a Yomiuri Giants or Hanshin Tigers game, and those two teams play in Central League. There are ways to watch Central League teams online, but it can seem pretty complicated and most people just won't bother. Oh, and the Japan series is not included in Pacific League TV. There's not even an option to pay extra money to see it. Contrast this with the CPBL in Taiwan where you can purchase a whole season and watch any game you want from opening day to the final game of the Taiwan series, or the KBO which shows all of its games for free on the Naver app. If NPB had a single unified streaming service with a reasonable subscription fee, they would get so many new viewers and make money while doing it. Major League fans in North America could watch in the morning before they go to school or work. They'd be especially likely to tune in when there's talk of a Japanese player is going to be a free agent at the end of the season and head over to MLB. NPB could also gain new subscribers in other Asian countries where baseball isn't big enough to get on TV. Countries that are just an hour or two behind Japan so it would be convenient for them to watch. And once they've managed to attract thousands of subscribers around the world, teams will see the need to offer broadcasts in English. Right now they don't think there's enough demand to hire English speaking announcers for the games. Funny because sumo events on Japanese TV have English broadcasts and I'm not sure how many people are watching those in English. At least the most popular teams like Hanshin, Yomiuri, and SoftBank should be trying it out by now. If you saw my video last week about the KBO hoping to hold a season opener in the US, the next part will sound familiar. If NPB teams made annual appearances in MLB spring training, it would do a lot to get their brand more recognized. The spring training crowd would love to see the next big NPB prospect on the field playing against major league teams, even if it is just a practice game. 
But perhaps gaining a strong following in the Western Hemisphere is not in their plans. Maybe they would rather build up a following on the Asian continent and become the Major League of the East. MPB teams have done a good job of spreading the game to countries where baseball is not well known by traveling there in the offseason and holding clinics. Maybe they're hoping that one day MPB will be shown live on TV throughout Asia. If that is their hope, they could do themselves a favor by doing what I suggested earlier, getting visitors to Japan out to the ballpark, and coming up with a cheap, easy to find, and easy to use streaming service. And that's all I've got, really. I'm sure there are other little things they could do. If you got any ideas, please mention them in the comments. But the big thing is that they make it easier for people to watch from anywhere in the world, like every other league has been doing. Interest in NPB is growing naturally without them doing anything. Maybe they think that's enough, but they could do so much better. Anyway, that's all for this one. Until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya.